Hello folks and welcome again to our Barbados Astronomy Services broadcast. Today we are considering binoculars. The binoculars is probably going to be your first instrument uh, optical aid for viewing the stars. I fully recommend a binoculars over a small telescope unless you have enough funds to purchase a reasonable telescope you are going to be disappointed so I'm urging those persons who might be cash strapped at this point in time to consider buying the binoculars and the reason we're demonstrating the binoculars to you today is because we want to make sure that you get the right pair now first of all this is a 7, seven by 50 binoculars that I'm holding here in my hand. Now what does that mean? Well, as you can see, there's a certain diameter of the objective lens. This is the one at the end that you point at the object. And that is the 50 in the 7 by 50. It is 50 millimeters large. What does that mean? That means that the bigger this lens, the more light will pass through it but the heavier and more expensive it will become now on the other side this is the one that you put to your eyes and this is where the magnification takes place so that's the number seven in the specifications seven by fifty so if we were saying doing with a nine by fifty dealing with a nine by fifty it would have the same objective lens but now we'd have slightly more magnification here and the more magnification would translate to a smaller field of view but that would also cause more jitter if it is handheld so some of the very large uh, powerful like uh, say 9 by 70 binoculars that might be rated for astronomy use are actually a bad investment if you plan to hold them in your hands and do your viewing because first of all the weight is going to be considerable and secondly you're not going to be able to hold them steady enough and the jitter is going to make you feel sick if you suffer from motion sickness but certainly in order to get a clear stable image with a more powerful binoculars than the ones I'm recommending to you you're going to require a tripod to put them on now part of the problems with putting binoculars on a tripod is that when you point it up towards the sky you have to get down low to look through it so you're going to now begin to suffer with various neck and spine related damage which you really don't want to have and so therefore it is for that reason that I also recommend that you go with a lighter smaller pair of binoculars now what else would I like to say about these binoculars before I go my way first of all if you're living in the tropics you need to get a sealed pair the one I'm holding here is nitrogen filled and floats if it falls in to the water. It is basically a mariner's binoculars and I recommend this one because the fact that it has been nitrogen filled and purged means that you are not likely to get fungus on the internal surfaces which is a big problem with all optical equipment in the tropics. You buy a nice binoculars today and in six months time you're seeing all that little spidery uh, fungus in the internal surfaces of the lens. At least if this one gets fungus it will be on a surface external where you can simply wipe it away. If it gets it on this one you wipe it away. If it gets it on this one you wipe it away. But because there is no moisture and it is sealed internally with a pressurized gas you're not likely, you're not, in, not going to get any kind of degradation by reason of the fungus. So theoretically you should get a much longer life and better service out of this pair. So you should try and get that if you can, if you're, particularly if you're living in our high humidity. And the other advantage, the other advantage of buying 
a pair like this which is probably only around a hundred US dollars or just a little over a hundred US dollars on Amazon or anywhere online that you might purchase it from uh, the big advantage of this is that because it is only seven a magnification of seven it has a very wide field of view you can see the entire constellation Delphinus in one field of view and as you move around the sky you will better be able to appreciate the constellation patterns that we're teaching you on the Facebook web page. If you haven't as yet gone and liked our Facebook web page, we urge you to do it today. Facebook.com slash Barbados Astronomy Services. Now, we, um, we want to tell you that the beautiful views you're going to see with this pair of binoculars is going to sell you on your astronomy rather than discourage you. So tune in next time for some more interesting information at our channel, Barbados Astronomy. And thank you for watching with us today.